Inside the Fox 59 studio, welcome to the Friday Night Fast Break. I'm Dave Griffiths. Thanks for joining us this 20th of January with one month left to go in this boys basketball regular season. As for what's on tap tonight, we'll see if one 4A squad can stay unbeaten on the season and give you a full rundown from the evening's action in the Mick and the Hoosier Crossroads Conference. Got to announce the winner of last week's Friday Night Fast Break play of the game, of course, and though coaches versus cancer is special everywhere, it takes on a unique meeting at one central Indiana school. All those stories plus we'll dive into the girls schedule tonight too. one week to go before sectionals. So who's got momentum on their side? That's coming up shortly here on Fox 59. Ben Davis is one unbeaten for a squad, but there is another and not a program you may expect football. Sure, New Palestine is a power, but how about the 12 and 0 boys basketball team? Things are looking up for the Dragons this year. Taking the show on the road to Ron Colley tonight. Some scrappy play from New Pal to get the ball, then get it up court quickly. Ian Stevens cruising in for the layup, and it's a lead for New Pal. Ron Colley, though, sticking with him in the first half. Luke Kagaris from beyond the arc stops, pops, knocks it down. Still Ron Colley trailing by five at halftime, 31 26. Into the second half, Dragons start to take control off the rebound. Once again, some quick transition basketball. Ian Stevens again ahead of the defense. Gets the foul on that play as well. They start to pull away as the shots start to fall from beyond the arc. Bryant Nunnally, triple for him. New pal, 58-41, they're 13-0. A battle for first place in the Hoosier Crossroads tonight. Brownsburg, third ranked team in the state, visiting Westfield. First quarter, Westfield down by one, but Trey Buchanan living up to his name with a triple from the top of the key. An 11-9 advantage for Westfield, but then Brownsburg starts to get going. Cannon catchings with the ball, the Purdue commit. Not good at first, but follows his own miss with the dunk. Really nice play from Catchings. To the fourth quarter, the Bulldogs are in full control. El Haj Diallo, just like Catchings, getting his own rebound and put back. Game high 24, 62-51, Brownsburg wins. So with Brownsburg's win, the Bulldogs top the Hoosier Crossroads, but Noblesville could keep its hold on second with a win of their own. Millers visiting Franklin Central tonight. Hoping to take one from the flashes. Early action after a scramble for the ball. It is the flashes who come away with it. EJ Hazel at the third. A little floater for two FC points. Then on another scramble, just about the same spot of the court. This time it's Noblesville's ball. Preston Roberts cruising in for the dunk. Noblesville starts to find something working on offense. And dunks are an easy way to score. That's the truth. Luke Almodovar from the baseline. The dunk of his own. And turning defense into offense, a theme for this highlight, and Noblesville in particular. There's Preston Roberts, the steal, the dunk, 51-31, Noblesville winners. Now to Zionsville, playing host to Hamilton Southeastern. Eagles with the ball. That's Nick Richard off the glass, and good for two points from the home squad. Now HSC getting going. Ref Stevenson, former play of the game winner this year, looking solid there with the three-point play on the block. Around the horn goes HSC. Eli Robinson from the corner. Rattles home three points. Now Zinesville starts to turn up its defense. McGuire Mitchell says, get that out of here. And then the offense starts to click as well. Logan Imes with the three. Zinesville winners 52 to 38. Fishers fans on their feet as the Tigers would host Avon tonight. Orioles by one in the third. Fishers on the break. Aiden Zimmer puts the Tigers in front. Dagger corner three. Now, more from Fishers as Keaton Gardner gets the steal and headed the other way with the rim rocker. Both hands swinging back and forth. Tigers by four. Orioles trying to keep pace as Jordan Lomax finds some space in the lane, getting a dunk of his own but too much from the Tigers. Back to the three ball and Zimmer in the corner. Fishers winners 55 to 48. We've seen some great matchups over the years between Carmel and Pike. Tonight, the latest installment in the former Mick rivalry. Visiting Greyhounds saying hi there. Hi, how are you doing? They're sharp from the opening tip. Alex Coto finds Sam Orm. Orm, the easy layup down low. Two points for Carmel. Red Devils now. Point guard Devin Woods single-handedly keeping his team in it. Hits the jumper to tie up the score. Carmel had an advantage in the paint. They made it work. Jared Bonds, the little baby hook shot. He was tough to stop tonight. End of the quarter now. Woods hits Coriel Spate, who beats the buzzer for three, but would not be enough as Carmel would knock out their old rivals, 52-49. to 49. Out to Lawrence Township we go. Lawrence North and North Central in a Mick battle. Back and forth, down to the wire game. Visiting Panthers, Joey Brown into the paint to Charlie Baker for two. 
North Central is out in front. Now we go to the other end. Xavier Robinson drive kick out. Miles good is good from beyond the arc. Lawrence North still chasing. Panthers lead by one. Wildcats have the ball. Robinson this time by himself through contact gets it up and good to go. Now a one point lead for Lawrence North. Final play. North Central coming down. Desperation three. No good. Lawrence North winners 67 to 66. Teacher Appreciation Week at Warren Central, Warriors hosting Lawrence Central, opening possession for the Bears. Braylon Russell wasted no time. There's three points from the logo to open up the scoring. Senior wing had the hot hand early this time. Gets the feed from Jacob Franklin in the corner, and it's once again Braylon Russell knocking it down. Bears jumped out to an 11 zip advantage, but then the Warriors finally wake up. Brandon Snodgrass into the paint for two points for Warren Central. Dub C coming back from the early deficit, but the Bears hanging on here. Ohio State commit Josh Mickens, bounce pass to Sean Craig for two. LC winners 59-56. Girls hoops now. Zionsville's first loss of the season came last Friday at the hands of Noblesville. So now the Eagles are 18-1 and one and hosting 18-2 and two, Hamilton Southeastern. Two really solid teams. Layla Hall for Zionsville off the rim. Mallory Hurt cleaning up the miss. Two points for the Eagles. Now, HSE with the block at one end, and let's go off the court quickly the other way. Lauren Stewart able to finish it off with the three point basket for HSE. Now, back to Layla Hall through traffic, gets the shot to go, even though there was some contact there. Allie Caldwell as well, this time with the three point play, gets the foul too. HSC though proven tough for Zionsville tonight on the road. Riley Molesky, Mikulski, excuse me, for three. 69-56 HSC winners. More of the Hoosier Crossroads. Brownsburg visiting Westfield. First half of back and forth affair. Shamrocks finding something from distance. That's Marin D from long range. 19 all at the half. Fourth quarter now. Westfield taking control as Kiki Loveless knocks down from long range. Nine point lead with six to go. But how about Brownsburg able to chip away? Now they're down by one. Avery Gordon, good feed to Kaylin Terrell. Two points for her. Puts the Bulldogs on top. An eight-zip run to end the game gave Brownsburg the advantage as Avery Gordon puts it up and in. 41-38, Brownsburg wins. Mick showdown. Warren Central girls, Lawrence Central girls. Two solid teams. Third quarter, Isaiah Baxter going through traffic. Her layup is good. Warriors by two. Heading into the fourth quarter. Dub C keeping the foot on the gas. Denia Jacobs heading up court to Imani Benson. Floater in for uh, two points right there. Bears get within one score with two minutes to go. That's Denia win underneath for two Lawrence Central points, but Warriors are able to hold him off as turning defense into offense. There's Jacobs by herself. 45 38 Warren Central wins. Danville has already secured a share of the Sagamore Conference title, but one more win for the Warriors would give them a perfect season in conference play. Western Boone standing in Danville's way. The Warriors in control from the start, though. Addison Davis, the friendly bounce, pouring in 15 points tonight. Stars hoping to catch back up. Emmy Roy's a good dish to Catherine Rutherford. Up and in for two points. Danville, though, too strong this evening. The long pass to Cameron Rector leading the way with a 19 59 38 Danville Sagamore Conference champions. A Circle City Conference matchup. Rebuff on the road visiting Garen Catholic. Inside out for the Braves. Ella Miller lets it fly and stings the strings for three. Rebuff leading by four. But here come the Golden Eagles. Annie Murray. Murphy off the bounce. A finger roll falls. For Garen Catholic, then it is Corey Dews to catch the shoot. Had a couple more for the home team. It would be a last chance for Prabuff down by two. Can't get a good look though at this final shot. And the buzzer sounds. Garen defends home court 41-39.